Today we're going to look at how to configure your Buffalo Air Station to use USB storage so that way it'll act like a NAS. First thing you want to do is log in to the web interface. Default is 192.168.11.1. Then you want to go to the NAS version. Now, if, just like always, not updated to the latest firmware. I recommend that you update to the latest firmware. So we'll go to the NAS area. You'll see here I've already plugged in a 16 gigabyte USB drive. I formatted my USB drive in FAT32 and then I copied media over to it. Sometimes if it's formatted in NTFS it might not recognize the device here. If you plug in your device and you don't see it here, press that refresh button. Maybe even wait a minute if you've only just plugged it in, hit refresh a couple times. If it still doesn't show up, then I recommend going to a computer, um, a Mac, or a Windows and format that drive in FAT32, Then, it, which means you'll have to back up any data that's already on there. And once it's in FAT32, you can put the data back, plug it in, and it should recognize it just like this. You'll notice here it reads how much capacity I have, how much I'm using. I've already put a couple video files on there and we can already use this device like a NAS. So to get there in a Windows computer you want this IP address, your router's IP address. We're just going to open up a Windows Explorer window like down here. You can click on maybe start and then computer and then here you're going to type in backslash backslash 192.168.11.1. You press enter, it's going to come up like this, it's going to show you your disk partition. Now the back of the WZR D1800H that I'm using has one USB port, as do many of our devices. We do have devices that have two. WZR1750 has a USB 3 device as well as a USB 2 which can be used concurrently so that way you would have disk 1 as well as disk 2 if you utilize both. I'm going to go inside that directory and you'll notice I have files here and I've got some video files as well as I have a document. You can create new documents on this. Any computer that has access can create a new document here. I could create one and copy it over. I can just play files. I can edit. So this is now using this just like a NAS. That is all there is to it. It's pretty quick to be able to get set up. And another video will go over how to configure the web access portion and do the port forwarding for web access.